morning welcome to my channel I'm so glad you have joined me on my channel today we are going to be starting on the nursery for baby number two I might not put everything in here but I want to put quite a lot in here we're starting to just move the bed out of the guest bedroom we're gonna make our guest bedroom the the new nursery so moving the guest bed out of here and um, got some new fun things from Love Every and they are collaborating with us on this video. So thank you Love Every for collaborating with us. Um, more on them in the link in the description and I'll talk about them a little bit more later on in this video. Right now Connor is putting away some things and just kind of packaging up some things in here. So I just wanted to go ahead and start this video even though it might be several days in the making, several weeks in the making. So I'm just excited to just start getting this room ready for baby, for the baby, it's so exciting. Second trimester, so we've gotta start now so that we can have it ready by the time the baby gets here. So right here we are packaging up our queen mattress and we are going to store it. We found these um, plastic coverings on Amazon and I will try to see if I can link them below. this video you are gonna see me move this dresser and this recliner several times I don't know about you guys but I'm one of those people that has to live with like the furniture that I place somewhere for a little while before I can decide if that's actually where I want its permanent home to be let me know in the comments below if that's you as well in this video to thank Love Every for collaborating with me on this video. I have a couple things that they have sent me. First is the box that they send me um, about every three months for my son. It is the 25, 26, 27 month subscription box. Um, I will have it linked in the description below. If you guys want to go check out their website, they have tons of subscription boxes. 
up to age three years old. I have this subscription box for my son who is just turned two. And then I also got a play mat for our new baby that's gonna be here. And I'm setting that up in the nursery so you guys can kind of see that later. But I wanted to show you first what is in this subscription box because they send so many good things. I literally never buy toys for my son. I literally just get this subscription box. We love every single toy that they send us. Um, it's their learning toys, so like they're perfect for like me as a stay-at-home mom and pregnant to just kind of encourage my son to learn on his own. It's like a very monastery way of learning. Um, so let's just go ahead and unbox this. So we got some flowers. I think these go in this little cube. I'll just go through this real quick. Some sort of cards that he can learn how to talk maybe. Sing a song, wash hands. This looks like color sorting. Maybe kind of like a color sorting thing. I think these go together. Each subscription box comes with a little book that shows you how you can use all these toys and how you can play with your kid. So this is like a little art kit. This will be good for the diaper bag. I love it when they send books. These books are great. Um, he learns so much out of the books that they give us. This one's called Making Muffins, so it has little flaps for counting, so that's great. A little puzzle. This looks like the legs that go to the little drop and match dot catcher. That's what it's called. So this is called the dot catcher. So he can kind of sort colors that way. And then I think this bottom one's gonna be my favorite one. And it is a sink. A little play sink. Yeah, as I open this, just again, thank you, Love Every, for collaborating with this on this video. Um, Love Every is truly one of my favorite <laughs> companies to work with. They are amazing. They do tons of research on their products and I just feel so blessed to get to work with them. So here's this little sink. Um, so that's gonna be super fun. I'm gonna start setting this stuff out in my son's room so that he can play with it today. So let's get back to designing and um, finishing up part of part one of this uh, nursery. so ready to get this queen mattress out of this bedroom and into storage. I felt like I could get so much more done without so much space being taken up. So I am so excited and it's officially moving day for this mattress. <laughs> to you guys that I'm pretty proud of putting this room together. I haven't really bought anything for the nursery this time around. This rug used to be in a different room in our house. All of the decor I've just kind of traded around rooms in my house and anything that I have bought has just been from the thrift store.
this dresser used to be in Riker's room and I have just several old clothes that I needed, put a needed to put away into storage for him. And then I am getting out my newborn slash zero to three month baby container and loading up the dresser with some baby clothes and baby items. for the end of this video where I will go through each one of these drawers and just show you how I organized it and what all I put in here and um, this is just kind of the stuff that I love to watch whenever I'm watching organization videos I like to see kind of how other people organize so it gives me some idea of how I want to organize my space so I hope that that will help you at the end of this video when I go through all of that there's nothing that I wouldn't do to make this all right. We've come too far to throw away all the memories that we have made. You and I were meant to be. Yeah. I wanna take your love all the way before you take your love away. Raindrop on the black top, hard stop, feeling like a robot. Swipe left, scroll down, same chick, but you're living in a new town. I'm all the issue, I'm the original. Cute face, but you got no taste, wouldn't trade it for its weight and go. One of these days. Some of it to me I've been lonely lately I've been feeling neglected And I want you to show me Can we get back On the same page Tonight can we stay Okay, so I'm about to end this video But I wanted to give you guys a quick tour Of just kind of like the final walkthrough of what the nursery looks like as of now. I am not completely finished. Obviously, we don't even have a crib in here. I'm waiting on Connor to finish Riker's bed. That 
twin mattress that you see back there. Riker, it's, it's gonna be Riker's bed. We just got to finish that, move that into Riker's room, and then we'll move the crib from Riker's room into here. And then just a couple other things, like putting some stuff on the wall, a couple touch-ups. Um, I don't have like all the clothes washed or anything like that, but I have kind of a general idea of what I want the organization to look like. So I'm just gonna take you guys through it with me real quick. This was on the door in my son's, um, when my son was born at the hospital. So um, he had this in his room, so I moved it to the baby's room since it's more of like a nursery feel and I wanna do Riker's room more of like a big boy type feel. Here's the door. So when you walk in, that's what you see. And then over here is the closet. Ooh, forgot this ball was in here. So I've just stored a couple of things in here. Um, I've got some baby clothes and diapers in here. I've got just um, like a couple of baby toys that I think I might give to like my mother-in-law or somebody. Um, maybe keep some of them, I'm not really sure. Um, got my pregnancy slash workout ball in here. I've got a backpack in here that used to hold my pump. Um, I just like, whoa, I just like to have this um, in case we are like going on like a short little trip for like baby stuff. I have several baby items up here. I have my nursing pillow, the Owlette, and the Docatot. On this side, you guys, I feel like He-Man because I put this car seat together all by myself. We washed all of the um, outer coating stuff because it was in the garage. It was real dusty. So we washed all of that. I put it all back together. So car seat's ready to go. It just needs to be installed in the car. That's just a chalkboard sign. I'm not sure if I'm going to put in here. Um, I've got the pack and play. This is going to go in mine and Connor's room. Um, this is what I use as bassinet because I don't see the point in getting a bassinet because they're gonna be in it for so, not so, not very long. I, that's what I used with Riker, so that's what we're gonna do with this baby. I've got the baby gate ready to go. Um, just some attachments for the pack and play. Some more attachments for some of the toys that we have for babies. And we'll just, I just hung this up in here. This is just a baby carrier, but I probably won't use this for this baby until they're a little bit older, because I used, I do like to use the wrap instead. I have my diaper bag. I'll probably tra change into this pretty soon. I have a bag that I use just for Riker, but this one's a little bit bigger that I can use for two babies. So that's everything in the closet. Um, so I just have this basket of toys. I pulled out a lot of toys from Riker's room. These are just kind of like the baby specific toys in this basket. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put this. So it's just chilling here for now. Eventually I'll put the changing table, changing mat on here with Riker, it fit perfectly. So um, that's what I'm gonna do with this baby. I have baskets ready for a basket wall that I'm gonna do over in that corner when I get the crib in here. Um, this mirror was in Riker's room. I thought it was very gender neutral since we don't know the gender of the baby. Um, I put this in here, so that'll be really cute in here, just like opens up the space. I had this with Riker as well. We had painted it, but now we've moved it out of his room. I'll probably do some painting touch-ups in the next video, so you guys will see that. Obviously, I'll put up the basketball, figure out all this organization and stuff in the next video as well. Um, went ahead and opened a package of newborn diapers just to go ahead and organize. I got all of the socks. I'll probably end up taking all these apart and washing them. This will be baby wipes and probably diaper rash cream maybe some nipple creams, just stuff like that. That'll go in this basket. Um, back here in the back, I have some bows. No, we don't know if it's a girl or not. Um, we were just given those just in case. I have a portable sound machine. I have a baby monitor that just can hear baby. These are for pictures with baby, so I have like stuff that we can use for pictures. Another like picture swaddle for like, it's like a girl with me kind of thing. And then I have some little baby shoes over here that are gender neutral. I also wanted to mention, I'm one of those people that likes to um, reuse things that I already have in my house. I don't like to go out and buy stuff if I can avoid it. So these baskets I've had for like, as long as we've lived in this house, a couple years, I guess, and they were in my mom's garage. And so that's what I use. 
as my little organization in here. I can't tell you guys where they come from because they're just from my mom's garage. So um, I'm glad I didn't have to just go like buy plastic organizers because I definitely like to have things organized, especially baby stuff, especially like little tiny things. So that's exactly what I wanted to do. Like I said before, I'm probably gonna have to wash a lot of this stuff. Again, even though it was washed before we put it in the attic, a lot of this stuff was still in the attic. I just haven't had the opportunity to wash all the clothes yet. When I wash the clothes, I'm gonna wash all the rest of this stuff. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I've got this whole area set up. Um, this is all burp rags. This is just changing pad um, little liners. And I've got a nursing covers under here. Um, I've got a couple swaddles, some Velcro swaddles, some more swaddles. I've got tons of swaddles for baby. And then I've got these little beanies. A lot of them look more for like a boy. You know, what can you do with hand-me-downs? So if we don't have a boy, we'll probably buy just lots of bows and stuff. Um, under here we've got little mittens. And then we've got some bibs because babies like to drool and spit up, of course. At least my babies do. And then in this bottom drawer I just folded up all of these blankets this one can probably go into Riker's room this one's actually all of these blankets are Riker's but um, I didn't know I didn't have a space for it so I just put all the blankets in here um, these are sheets for packing play and for the crib so I have all of that in here as well and I know I mentioned to you guys beforehand that I would show you what love every sent me I am obsessed with this like a tummy time mat I guess just like a little playtime mat what is it even called playtime mat I don't know Riker lived under the one that we had for him and I'm so excited to have like an even nicer one that I can keep in the baby's room it is like padded Riker's was not padded um, it has tons of little things that like when baby starts to crawl or like when we're doing tummy time or something like lots of different things that they can look at this little thing pops up and you can put like a mirror in there you can put little like black and white cards because newborns love black and white cards so like when I'm having the baby down here for tummy time or just playing on their back just for floor play because floor play is so good for babies um then this is just gonna be this is just perfect it is literally so perfect I this is my favorite thing I think I've ever gotten from Love Every so I highly highly recommend it it is so nice like I said before I will have a link for you guys in the description below for Love Every because they are amazing and I love all of their products and you guys should just go check them out um, even if you just go and like window shop through online version. It'd be a great Christmas gift. Christmas is coming up. Uh, let's continue throughout the room. So I've stuffed some pillows back here because I need to do some organizing. Um, that'll be in a video coming up soon but um, I've got the bed for Riker's room. The crib's gonna go here somewhere gonna do like a little basket wall or something here maybe put a plant maybe a floor plant I haven't really decided um, I'd love your opinions um, on this kind of corner I was thinking either the crib can go like diagonal like it is in Riker's room or just put like the head of the crib on this wall and just have it come out to here I haven't just I can't decide what I want and I'll probably just play around with it when it gets here but what do you guys think diagonal or just straight across the wall oh yes and so this rug was actually given to us by my dad so um, another thing that we didn't have to purchase yes I am doing some blue in here um, we don't know if it's a boy or a girl but I have more boy stuff than I do girl stuff clearly because I have a boy already but I thought if it is a girl I'm gonna add some like blush pink and if it's a boy I'll probably just stick with like blue and like neutral type colors like black and browns and um, white <laughs> so that'll be that super easy super easy fix when the baby's here this used to be in our pantry so um, I decided to just reuse it because we didn't use it a whole lot this is just a pillow I stuck in there but we didn't use this a whole lot in the pantry it stayed empty most of the time so I decided to put it in here I'm going to put my nursing pillow and stuff in here well because I'll probably be nursing the baby a lot in this chair I just put a pillow and blanket in here. Um, these used to be in mine and Connor's 
bedroom. So I just had them hung in here. I thought that was a cute little boho vibe going on. I'm thinking about painting this maybe white. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Then I also have this little alarm clock that I got from a thrift store and I've had this lamp forever. We just painted it black. So I'm gonna tr probably paint this but keep this in here because I really like having a spot that I can put like my bottles or sorry my like water bottle and like baby bottle and anything else that we need. But I have a couple of like baby specific books in here. And then these are kind of just here for the time being. This will probably end up in our living room. Um, this is just a little rocker. Um, my son loved being in the rocker when he was a little bit older, probably around like one month to like five or six months old. He used this and then we used the bouncer for a very long time, like the first six or seven months of his life. So we'll probably do the same with this baby. And then I have this cute little accordion rack that I got from a vintage store here. And then this is a little wrap that I was talking about. I like to carry baby around in a wrap for at least like first three or four months. Um, and it's gonna come in handy a lot when I'm trying to take care of a toddler too, but I don't know if this is gonna stay here. I might move this somewhere else. Um, I have a little drink catcher in here. I'll probably do something cute with this. Um, send me some of your ideas. I would love to know if you guys have any cute ideas for an accordion rack. So lots still to do, but a lot has got done. I'm so glad you guys joined me on this video. I can't believe this room is coming together already. We have about three and a half months left until baby, so I'm super, super excited. Hope you guys are too. There's lots of fun videos coming out. I have lots of ideas, so I'm so glad that you've joined me here today, and I hope that you will hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this, and I hope you will give this video a like because that really helps out my channel. So thank you so much for watching my video. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!